Jan Cossiers, born in 1600, was a Flemish painter and draftsman. He began his artistic career by creating Caravagesque genre works that depicted scenes from everyday life. These early works showcased his talent for capturing the gritty realities of the lower classes. As Cossier's career progressed, he shifted his focus to painting historical and religious subjects, as well as portraits. His skill and versatility as a painter allowed him to excel in these different genres. After the death of renowned painter Rubens in 1640, Cossiers emerged as one of the leading painters in Antwerp. He was highly regarded for his unique use of color, which set him apart from his contemporaries in 17th century Flanders. Cossiers' innovative approach to color added depth and vibrancy to his artworks, making them visually striking and memorable. Jan Cossiers, born in Antwerp in 1600, received his first training from his father, a watercolor painter, and then studied under the prominent painter Cornelis de Vos. In 1623, he traveled to Aixn province and studied under the Dutch painter Abraham de Vries. He also visited Rome, where he was likely influenced by the work of Caravaggio. Returning to Antwerp in 1627, Cossiers became a master in the Antwerp Guild of St. Luke the following year. He married twice and was elected several times as a consultor of the De Sodalitite der Getroden, a fraternity for married men. Cossiers obtained significant commissions in the 1630s, thanks to the intervention of Rubens. He also assisted Rubens in various projects, including the decorations for the joyous entry of the Cardinal Infante Ferdinand in 1635. Cossiers was known for his talent in portraying both historical and religious subjects. His works often showcased a sense of drama and emotion, with strong chiaroscuro and vibrant colors. One of his notable paintings is, The Martyrdom of St. Catherine, created in 1647. In this artwork, Cossiers captured the intense moment of St. Catherine's martyrdom, emphasizing her unwavering faith and courage. Another remarkable piece is, The Supper at Emmaus, which depicts the biblical scene of Jesus revealing himself to his disciples. Cossier's attention to detail and his ability to convey deep emotions through his brushwork made him highly regarded in his time. Despite his success, Cossier's career came to a halt during the French Revolution. The political turmoil left his life and artistic endeavors in ruins. However, he persevered and continued to create art in his later years. In fact, even at the age of 80, he won a government competition in 1796. His talent was recognized by Napoleon Bonaparte, who made him a senator. Cossiers passed away in Paris and was buried in the crypt of the Pantheon. As an artist and teacher, he had a significant influence on many talented individuals, including François-André Vincent, Jean-Antoine Theodore Girist, and his own son, Marie-Joseph, who also became a distinguished painter. In conclusion, Jan Cossiers was a versatile and influential Flemish painter who left a lasting impact on the art world. His ability to capture the gritty realities of everyday life in his early works showcased his talent and skill. As his career progressed, Cossiers excelled in painting historical and religious subjects, as well as portraits, displaying his versatility as an artist. His innovative use of color added depth and vibrancy to his artworks, making them visually striking and memorable. Despite facing challenges during the French Revolution, Cossiers continued to create art until the end. His talent was recognized by Napoleon Bonaparte, who made him a senator. Cossiers' influence extended beyond his own artwork as he trained and influenced many talented individuals. Today, he is remembered as a significant figure in Flemish art history.